Today I'm going to show you how I found this spy bug in my office. If you've ever watched any spy movies, you've probably seen a bug detector. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how I detected this bug in my office and what you need to look for. Really, it's the art of deception meets the art of espionage meets a spy bug. All right, guys, so this is really a simplistic device that I will leave a link to down below. You can see it here. It's got the laser. You can actually turn it on. It's only got a couple adjustments. I can adjust the level right here so you can see this thing popping on. And what this does is it actually will detect spy bugs. So I'm not going to get into what it says in the brochure. If you want to check out the actual specs, you can do that in the link down below. But I'm actually going to show you these spy bugs and we are going to do some detection here today. So here's the thing. Bugs come in all different shapes and sizes. The most obvious that people think of is the phone, but also the phone is where people get the weirdest. So a lot of people, if you lay a phone on the table, people are going to think, well, it's got a camera. It's obviously can detect audio. Now you can hide spy bugs in just about anything. And if you want to see making and implementing spy bugs, there's a video up in the corner, which is part two of this series where you can check that out. The opposite of this, this video is going to be about detecting the bugs. The other video is going to be about planting the bugs. Now, again, I don't, uh, I don't recommend doing anything illegal. Obviously, if you are doing something like this as a gag with your kids or friends that are, have given you permission, do not break laws and spy on people. But I'm showing you how these can work mostly for preventative measures so you can detect if someone is trying to stalk or spy on you. Now, you'll see a lot of these. This is actually a pinhole camera and it's USB charged. It has a tiny little camera right here and you can see that tiny little camera and it's a pinhole camera. Now you'll also see things like this that are extremely popular. This has audio on it and it is a flash drive plugs into a computer. I can plug this into a computer or I can plug it into something like a Raspberry Pi. I can plug it in here and then walk away and really no one's the wiser and this is a full audio recorder and it will record for 16 hours worth of space give or take and so you literally can just leave this on uh flip it on now the device it plugged into of course does have to have power but for this demonstration i'm just showing you that you can also plant these bugs so you can see these bugs that i'm talking about this is also a listening device basically it has an antenna positive and negative and it hooks up to a nine volt battery this specific one and then that's the power source they've also got ones where i can cut the leads and i can wire them directly into a light i can wire them directly into an outlet i can wire it directly into virtually any electronic device nowadays pretty much any electronic device is strong enough to power this in fact they've got one a little bit smaller that you can wire into a phone now most modern smartphones a little bit tougher of course because they're made not to come apart by the average per person but there are phone options as well you can wire these into a key fob in your car the 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 possibilities are endless i've actually hid them in decks of cards so there are so many different possibilities now you also can control this is an arduino so this is a control switch for on and off and then I can monitor from a Raspberry Pi. Now, again, in the bug creation video, talk more about that. But for this video, talk about how this works. So let me go ahead and show you a quick demonstration here real quick. Now, as you can see here, I'm over in my office and I'm walking up to my computer and the light starts flashing and easy to find the bug. Now you'll notice that when I take when, when I take the device closer and further away from the bug, the the lights come on and off, right? When I get close, the lights come on. When I when I go away, the, the lights come off. And what this is is actually scanning for the detection device, which is what this uh, CC308 Plus does. So the laser will actually scan for it. And then you've actually got a vibration and a uh, sound mode. So you can hear that now. 
So we turn this on and then I can raise the volume so you can hear that awful screech. That's got to sound good if you're wearing headphones. But what this does and then with the laser, it'll actually find the device. So just like what you saw. So let, let me let me show you this with the laser. Basically what's going to happen, I'll turn this on to vibrate so you guys don't have to hear that. What, what's going to happen here is as I'm coming closer to the camera, it's actually going to show the camera. Okay, so you hear that? Coming closer and it actually lets you know the camera's there. So let me let me bring this into frame here. And so let me move these bugs. And so what happens is when I get closer to it, it lets you know that it's there. And see how it starts to speed up? The light actually starts to speed up. So we go away, like I showed you in the other one. So when we come over here, we go away. And then when we come over here, it starts to speed up when we get closer to it. Now what this does, it actually detects it. And I can, I can turn up the volume as well. So what I'll do here, is take this over here i can turn it up and then i can bring this in and when it gets close to the light it starts flashing it starts flashing really quick because it's detected it so we come over here and it's going to slow down so to slow down out here and then when i'm coming in here as it gets closer it starts going crazy when it finds it right and same thing that it did with that other with that other audio bug and so we see these bugs they've actually got to have a power source and so I'll show you that again, like I just showed you over in the office. So if I connect this right here, all you do is you connect a nine volt. Now you can control these with, uh, what are these? Uh, radio, FM mic, so DH radio right here. And you've got the antenna and you can hide this pretty much anywhere. So you can see this bug, now it's actually active. And what I can do here is I can turn this on, okay? And then if I come at this, right? It's gonna see that it's there, and then I can go away, right? And then I can come out, and it's the same thing. Let me let me level this out. Usually, what I'll do is I'll turn the volume about midway. So, let me pull this back a little bit. Uh, okay. And what it'll do is vibrate. Now it does come with headphones, which is an option as well. Although personally, I don't like that high pitched sound right in the headphones. So I would rather use it manually, but this is a great device to take with you traveling. Also, the other thing that you can do with this is when you're, when you're utilizing something like this. So of course you see this bug here, this has to have a power source. So as soon as I take this battery off, so for this bug, as soon as I take the battery off or the battery dies, this bug is decommissioned. So these obviously are limited lifetime. Whereas if I were to cut the, the nine volt lead and hardwire it into something, it would last as long as whatever device has power. So these can literally last pretty much an endless amount of time, which is kind of scary to think about how simple it is. You know, this equipment, I mean, you can get set up here for just a couple of dollars. So, you know, somebody could bug you with 40 bucks. It doesn't take much for a receiver, the bug, and then, um, you know, uh, to be able to implant one of these bugs, it's, it's gonna be under $40. So for you, having one of these, I highly recommend taking to hotels, uh, taking with you wherever you go. Make sure, you know, you're not breaking any laws. Check your local uh, and federal laws, depending upon where you live. But this is a great option, in my opinion. Now. It does charge, so you've got the headphone port up here, and then it does charge uh, via wall charger, so it comes with a wall charger right here. It would be nice if it had USB, but it does come with wall charger. I find that this thing lasts, I, don't, I think the last time I charged this was probably three months ago, and I use it all the time. So the charge lasts an extremely long time. It's got a reasonably long uh, antenna for what it is. So you can see the, the antenna comes out, uh, but it's fairly compact. You see it in the palm of my hand here, reasonably compact. Uh, size it up with a deck of cards. It's virtually identical size of a deck of cards. Obviously it sticks up, it protrudes about an inch with the antenna. Other than that, it's the identical size. And as far as width, you know, it's about two thirds of the size of a deck of cards. So pretty simplistic device. Uh, and it will help you detect bugs. Actually works extremely well. This is my knock around one. I've got a little bit more expensive one that I use uh, from time to time, but you could find these for very inexpensive and I find that it works almost the same. It's got the same technology when it comes to picking up bugs. And what you're doing is you're looking for any listening or video device. Now, of course, the laser is gonna pinpoint the camera lens, like I showed you, but the, um, the uh, detector is also gonna detect an audio device. But a word to the wise, 
Keep in mind that it will pick up Wi-Fi most of the time. So if you are by maybe a router, you're by you know a hotspot for internet, you're gonna get a false detection. Also, I recommend turning your phone on airplane mode or not having your phone with you when you do this. So let's say for example, you go to a hotel, uh, I, I make it a good practice to sweep every hotel I stay in. Let's be real. Most of us, myself included, it's not like, the, you know, it's not like people are out looking to bug us all the time, but it's just a good practice, a good habit, because you never know that one time there are some weird people out there nowadays. Uh, so I make this a, a consistent practice. And what I will tell you is you're looking for Wi-Fi, turn your phone on airplane mode, and then some outlets. So you're going to know when you're next to power supplies and outlets, but basically you can just go through anything that's bringing in a signal though, this can detect. So of course you will get some false detections, but I showed you that it is pretty sensitive over there by my computer. I have a host of video and audio equipment over there and you saw me move it back and forth and it detected the bug pretty well when it was connected to the nine volt. So within about, in my experience, within about a one foot cubed, it works extremely well. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that if you're looking how to uh, implement bugs and I'm going to show you some really cool bug options. I've got a whole bunch of them myself, really cool spy devices, then uh, check the video up in the corner. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe.